Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to day five of the five day ketosis challenge hosted by Good Beats and Keto Coach. And if you've been following along every day this week, I've been sharing one of my top five, I'd say, favorite benefits of ketosis. And today we have metabolic flexibility as my probably my favorite beyond day one, which is superior brain health and brain fuel. Well, I should say superior brain fuel, which leads to superior brain health and performance and everything else just falls after that. So with metabolic flexibility, that's what I feel most of us that aren't using a ketogenic approach for a therapeutic purpose, like epilepsy, cancer, diabetes, PCOS, things like that. I guess even diabetes and PCOS to some degree. Um, but metabolic flexibility, I feel, is the ultimate goal with using keto or ketosis as a tool in a lifestyle because at the end of the day, um, we want to be able to eat the foods that we enjoy. We want to be able to metabolize them optimally. We want to be able to utilize energy from them rather than storing energy as in body fat, what I like to call potential energy on our bodies. Um, so metabolic flexibility is just you know being able to utilize different food sources for energy and not store them as fat. And ketosis by the nature of achieving that metabolic state of producing ketones in your bloodstream from burning fat at such a rate that you get ketones left over. Um, it, it just by nature, it allows your mitochondria to improve and to uh, retrain them essentially to be able to metabolize carbohydrates and metabolize fat to create energy from them rather than storing them as fat. So when you reduce your carbohydrate intake, again, your glucose levels drop, your insulin levels lower, and as a natural positive consequence of that, your body switches over to looking at fat for fuel. And as you do this for some time and you stay dedicated to it, you get what's called fat and keto adapted. Um, your body is able to, in a sense, kind of like enhance your mitochondria and create new mitochondria, a term called bio, uh, mitochondrial biogenesis. So creating new mitochondria. And the more efficient mitochondria you have and the more in volume that you have in your body, the more you're able to create energy and sustainable energy and then the more all of your systems are going to be properly fueled and not draining energy from one other part of the body to you know overcompensate a deficiency in one section of the body and when it comes to the brain you know that's super important because the brain's like the conductor of this whole show right so when your brain's being fueled properly the rest of your body just follows suit so metabolic flexibility it gives you the ability to eat you know the foods that you do enjoy to a degree i mean I'm never an advocate for telling people to go eat junk food and processed food because I don't believe in that. But if I were to say I don't, I don't ever do that, I'd be a liar. So uh, metabolic flexibility allows you to indulge in types of breads and pastas and you know even processed food to agree, like sugars and added sugar and just the, the crap food that's out there that human beings, we love. The taste is usually good and we get addicted to them because of all that. But it just allows you to you know have a slice of cake at you know um, maybe – your friend or family member's birthday when you know when you're really on a ketogenic diet and you're trying to stay strict to adapt those are going to be things that you're not going to want to indulge in but once you've done that so dedicatedly um, i don't think that's the words but in such a dedicated manner for a long term um, you make it into a lifestyle and you reach metabolic flexibility you can slowly start incorporating carbohydrates back into your diet that you normally wouldn't and the only way to see how that goes for you is to test your your blood and to test other subjective markers, you know, the way you feel, if you get bloated, if you have gas, if you get um, any kind of, you know, brain fog, or if you get the carb hangovers, things like that. And then as well as objective, like your blood and using body comp, um, testing like um, DEXA scans or in-body scans over the long term. And just to see, you know, what changes occur and just note them. And then, you know, if you're not getting good feedback, then that means you probably don't want to do that so often. A lot of people benefit from the way I live, very low carb, uh, very, um, very low carb for the majority of my days. Uh, I don't follow strict ketogenic macros because I'm not... Um, living a ketogenic lifestyle for therapeutic purposes like epilepsy or cancer. Um, I'm, I'm following a low carb ketogenic approach to where I create ketones in my bloodstream, no doubt, but I eat a little bit more protein and a little bit less fat than what's typically recommended for a strict ketogenic diet uh, because I'm not fighting cancer. I'm not fighting epileptic seizures and things like I don't have diabetes. So I keep my carbs low. I get whole food um, sources of carbohydrates. Um, just today, I had a little sweet potato with my lunch, um, and then good quality fat, protein, you know. But 
that's the type of thing. I want to be able to enjoy sweet potato. I want to be able to enjoy fruit when I want um, and enjoy other things from, from time to time. You know, corn tortillas at my favorite local Mexican restaurant, you know, like 30 grams of carbs, maybe 50 grams of carbs um, all said and done at that meal. You know, like things like that, that, you know, we want to enjoy. We want to, we want to live our lives, but it's all in context of what's really important and what's a priority to you. And priority to me is prioritizing my brain's health and performance and the rest of my body after that. And I know now from years of being very strict um, with my macros and testing my blood and fasting and not eating any starches or sugars or any junk food or anything like that, um, I, I know I can get away with certain things like sushi and having you know the white rice and um, you know just getting back into exercising and fasting. Like there's all these things you can do, but you have to do the work to get to that point. You know, the discipline equals freedom quote comes in here nicely. The more disciplined you are, the more freedom you get. And a lot of people say, well, I wanna be free now and I just wanna do whatever I want whenever I want. And it's like, well, it really doesn't work that way because then you start to have all these adverse effects and these negative experiences is compounding over each other and then you get back to this point or you get to a point maybe you've never been where you're so unhappy, you're sick and tired and you're just not in a good spot. So it's like, well, is that freedom? Like, do you really feel good about what you're, how you're experiencing life, the way you're thinking, the way you're feeling, the way you look and the way you think you look and how you're showing up? Or would you rather be disciplined and create a lifestyle out of it and change your mindset around what food is and what food isn't and how it affects how you show up and how your health uh, looks and how you physically look and how you think and how you feel and how you interact with the world? Like, that's freedom to me because then all that does is just enhance every aspect of your life. And people that want to have freedom financially with their time, you know, the more you prioritize your your physical health, your emotional health, and your mental health, um, and your discipline with it, you get to a, a sense or to a point where you're sensing all this freedom. And that's that's my number one thing is I just want to feel free, free from disease, free from time, and free from finances and all these things. And I'm I'm living that now. Um, I've been working really hard on that the last few years and um, investing a lot into that. And now I get to experience that. I've been so disciplined. I create this discipline where it's just more of like a lifestyle. And so when it comes to diet, um, you know, a ketogenic diet is typically one people say, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I can't live without my bread and all these things. But you'd be amazed at what you can do when you put your mind to it and you shift your mindset and you reframe things and you stop thinking about what you can't do and what you can't have and all these things and you think about what it is you, you're going after and who that version of you that you're, you're, you're aimed at. And it's, you know, it's the difference of an outcome-based goal versus an identity-based goal. And that's something that I, I adopted in my life and I share more and more lately is, is focusing on, yeah, you have an outcome you wanna reach, cool. Then most people will get to the how part, the middle part, but no, no one really gets to that core that's focused on an outcome. If all you're focused on is a scoreboard and you're not focused on how to increase that score and then who you need to become you know, physically and mentally to achieve that performance, to achieve that outcome on the board, so to speak, you're not going to get it. And if you, maybe you do, it's not going to be sustainable. And I've talked to the very... Um, uh, many very successful people, I've read books by these people that say the same thing. When you're focused on something rather than yourself um, and who that version of yourself is that you want to achieve those things that that person has, I don't know if that sounds weird, but when you focus on the identity pieces and you shift who you are inside and outside in your behavior to one that's aligned with what you want, with what you want becomes a byproduct of you changing who you are and acting accordingly. So when it comes back to diet and health, you know, a lot of people are just scared to follow this ketogenic approach, this low carb approach, because they're so caught up in what they can't do and what they can't have rather than what they can. And that's the, that's the whole freedom aspect and liberation aspect with metabolic flexibility is you get to a point where you can have certain things. You can have alcohol and sugar from time to time. I'm not an advocate of doing that. You know, I, I'm an advocate of um, doing those things from time to time maybe, uh, but it's all relative to who you are, what your goals are, what your, your reality is and your experience in that reality and what you want to do about it. It's really simple. Um, so at the end of the day, metabolic flexibility is just what I think is like the ultimate goal for majority of people that follow a low carb ketogenic approach because you get to have foods that aren't going to sabotage you. And the only way to know is to test subjectively and objectively. We already talked about that, but to recap this week's five benefits from ketosis, starting on Monday, we had superior brain fuel. 
obviously you guys know that's my favorite. I got the, the Peace Brain shirt right here. Um, actually, I got it tattooed on me too, like in, incorporated in my uh, my right arm sleeve that we're working on that I gotta finish one of these days. Uh, but Tuesday, optimal body comp. We talked about how a ketogenic approach um, really helps improve body composition and maintain it effortlessly. Um, th uh, Wednesday, we talked about appetite control and liberation from cravings and metabolic flexibility helps with that too because when your blood sugar isn't skyrocketing and then dipping super low, your blood sugar is managed, it's maintained and your brain doesn't perceive the stress and then lead, uh, signal your mind to think, oh, I need to eat sugar or I got these cravings all of a sudden. Like it's just really funny how it works, but it's great. Uh, discipline equals freedom. Again, the more disciplined you are, the more freedom you get to experience. And then yesterday, Thursday, we talked about less inflammation and less disease risk factors as a natural consequence of burning fat for fuel, looking at solar energy rather than a campfire with the smoke and the fire as in glucose metabolism. Um, but metabolic flexibility allows those two abilities to just kind of be optimized. And so that way you get the, you get all the benefits of ketosis. Um, you, you're able to have some carbohydrates, especially for people that are looking to physically perform in certain states, you can time your carbohydrate consumption before you exercise or do some physical task, and you can get the best of both worlds, glucose and fat and ketones for fuel. And it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. And again, it just leads to so much liberation um, and freedom in your day and with your health and the way you show up. And I think that that's that's my favorite piece about ketosis is just it's it's optimizing every bit of your experience in life and it allows you to show up as your true self reaching your full potential and then passing that on to others so i really i really appreciate you guys for joining in if you guys are still at this point uh it's been it's been a great week talking about some of my favorite things to talk about in life and I really, um, I just really appreciate you guys for joining me. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of questions you have. Share a success story of yourself, a friend or a family member that you know. Um, if you wanna make some changes, reach out to me. That's, that's what I do today. I love helping people adopt these changes with the mind and the body um, and really just showing up the way they want, reaching their full potential that we all know we can and deserve to experience life as. And so um, again, I appreciate you guys for all those that have been following me and supporting me for over the years. I love and I love and appreciate you guys. The, the love and support uh, means the world to me. Those that are new, we, that doesn't, doesn't change. I love and appreciate you as well. Um, if you guys want to know anything else about me, my thoughts on food, my thoughts on business or life or um, health or any of these things, just, just reach out, let me know. But uh, until next time, I uh, appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Depending on what time of the week you're, you're watching or listening to this, Either way, have a great day. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.